What's up everyone? So I'm about to go kayak camping again. I haven't been in this storage for a long time, so there's cobwebs everywhere. But I'm going to get this kayak pulled out, put up on the car, and head out to the lake. Well, fast forward to now, I'm already out on the water. Backpack camp, about right there. Sun's coming back out, and it's a little hot. Not too bad. I've been planning this camping trip for the past couple weeks. I might go out for a paddle later on, whenever it cools down. Go check out this camp not too bad a lot more branches have fallen since the last time I've been out here still got a nice fire pit here which I won't be using again this is my third time out here I had my teepee tent right there and then my other tent small one person tent I had right here and I had a ridge line between these two trees but this time I didn't bring a tent for the first time I will be hammock camping. I've never actually been camping in a hammock and never really laid in one that much. I'll put it up right here between that tree and that tree. Just have it hanging right here. Should be a good spot. Got a nice view of the lake from here too. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my kayak up and start getting things set up. This is the equipped one person mosquito hammock. It's got a mosquito net on it. Picked this up at Walmart. I'm hoping it's a good hammock. I've seen good reviews and bad ones. Just like everything, they got good and bad. The cool thing is, it packs itself. This bag is attached to the hammock. So you got some ropes here and uh, some poles. And then basically, you just pull the hammock out of the bag. There's the hammock and there's your bag right there. So after you get the hammock up, you put these poles in on both sides. And then you got some more rope here to uh, tie this up to the tree and it'll raise your net up. All right, there it is. I don't know if I did it right, but it's up. So I'm gonna get in it here and test it out. It's got these zippers on it. And it's got zippers on both sides. And then this is what it looks like inside. So I'll get inside it and hope I don't fall and see how I like it. Now I'm sitting in it. So far, so good. Now let's lay back. Alright, now I'm inside. Got lots of headroom in here. I'm reaching up and my fingertips are touching the net. So here's the view of me laying down inside. Plenty of headroom up here. So I think I might have to adjust something because it seems like it's a little bit tighter on this side and more loose on this side. I'm wondering if I got these strings here a little too high. Maybe if I lower it down a little. Yeah, it does help a little, but it's a little lopsided on 
that side. I'll have to make some minor adjustments, but it feels a lot better now laying in here. Until it cools off, I'm gonna have to stay out of the hammock because it's hot in there. I didn't bring much. Just a couple light blankets because it is gonna be a little chilly tonight. Got my camp chair. So I'll get that set up. Just got some camp food and my stove and that's about it. I'll get my kayak pulled up on the other side of the hammock. Just kind of park it right here. Well, it's 5 p.m. now and I just realized I left my drone in the car. I'm gonna head on back to get it. I'll leave my hammock and my chair right there. I got everything else still in the kayak, so I'll take it with me. But the boat dock's only right over there, about a 10 minute paddle. So I'll go over there, grab my drone, come on back. Back to the boat dock. It's a little bit cooler than it was when I came out here. Yeah, I was sitting there in my chair trying to figure out, you know, what to do for the next couple hours to pass the time. And I remembered I was going to fly my drone to do that. And then I remembered that I left the drone in the car. Luckily, I parked over here at this boat ramp. It's only a 10 minute paddle. Alright, got the drone back out on the water. Yeah, that was only an 8 minute paddle because this thing was moving. Alright, back up to camp we go. Now I'm all hot and wore out again. At least I got my drone. I just got done flying my drone 
and I was pretty hot. So now I got a fan up there, and it is pretty nice. It is putting down a lot of wind. DJI Mavic Mini doubles as a ceiling fan. So I didn't bring any water to cook with, but I do have my water filter. I'm going to fill this bag up. Then I'm going to go cook my food before it gets dark out. Go ahead and put my camp stove on here. And I'll take my water. Put the uh, water filter on it. And just start squeezing it out into this. And that'll be enough to cook my food. Alright, now just gotta light it up. I'll be having one of these Mountain House Adventure Meals lasagna with meat sauce. So one thing I like about this place at Long Branch State Park is the mosquitoes aren't really that bad. I mean they're around but they're not that bad at all. So other than the heat it's pretty nice out here but I'm gonna have to wait until it cools down before I get inside the hammock. Alright we got a boil in the house so I'm gonna shut this off. It's right in here. Peel it up and let it cook. Well, I can't believe I did it again, but I forgot my spoon. So I'm going to have to pour my food into my cup and drink it like I did the last time I forgot my spoon. I could have swore I packed it this time. But I think I packed another bag first last week and then I switched to this bag and I probably forgot to pack the spoon. Well the sun's about to set over there. I gotta wash out my camp bowl. I'm going to start packing some stuff up to put in the kayak and when it gets dark I'll hop in the hammock. So now that that's clean, time to start packing stuff up. So I pretty much packed up everything I'm not going to need and shoved it up in the kayak. Pretty much all I left out is some water in case I get thirsty. I'm going to try not to drink it because it's lake water but I got a filter just in case. And just my phone charger which will go in the hammock with me. That's about it. I put a uh, a light blanket in there just to lay on with a pillow and then I got a long sleeve shirt up there in case it gets a little chilly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the hammock try to get comfortable. Hopefully you can see me all right I got the flashlight shining through my hat so I'm not blinding myself but anyway I got the uh, the blanket underneath me and uh, I'm turned sideways in the hammock so I'm laying flat so I'm pretty comfortable uh, it's almost nine o'clock so I'm just gonna lay here watch some uh, YouTube and uh, you know probably go to bed so I'll go ahead and end it here for tonight and I will see you in the morning
7 a.m. now, and I slept better than I thought I would. I think I fell asleep sometime between 10 and 11, and I woke up once at 5 a.m. It was a little chilly, so I put on my long sleeve shirt and got a blanket, went back to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and get up, get packed up and ready to go. Still a little chilly out, but not too bad. It should warm up pretty quick once the sun comes out. There's already boats out on the water. People out there fishing. So I'm pretty much packed up. Just got to put the hammock in the bag. And then I'm ready to go. Just going to finish my monster and then head back out on the water. Got everything packed up, ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time.